Hey, welcome back guys. In this video, we will be learning about how to work with input fields using Selenium Base and Python. So let's get started and take a look at the test scenario that we will be covering in this video. So I'm here on our Practice Automation Bro website. And from here, I'm going to go to the contact page. So I'm going to click here on the contact link. So on the contact page, I'm just going to scroll down. And here we have our contact fields over here. So we have name, email, phone, message, and the submit button. So pretty straightforward. So what we're going to be doing is filling in these fields and then hit the submit button. So let me just fill some test fields here. So I'm going to do test name, test at mail.com and some random input here. Test message. And I'm going to hit submit. So the moment I do that, it's going to redirect to this particular page over here. It's basically the same page, except we're going to see this thanks for contacting us alert message. So we're going to make sure that we see this message when we submit this fields. So let's head over to Pacham and get started with writing some code. Okay, so I'm back here in Pacham and over here so far we have written two tests, one for the home page, one for the menu links. Now, instead of keep working on this same page over here, which was the home test, now that we're actually working with the contact page, we're going to create a new uh, test over here, or basically a new file. So in the test folder, I'm just going to create a new file and I will name this one test underscore contact. I'll create that. So this one will be same as the previous one. So we're going to make sure that we import Selenium base and the base case basically over here. So once we do that, I'm going to create my class. I will call, call this one contact test. And then once we create the class, we're going to create our actual uh, methods over here. But before that, I need to make sure I'm importing base case. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to import base case, basically inherit base case in a contact test. Now let's create our method. So we're going to call this one test underscore contact page. So this is what we need to do. Same as previous one, we need to make sure we're going to open the page. Once we open the page, we need to make sure we fill in all the fields. So we're going to fill all the fields that were there that were basically our name, email, phone number, and the text field there. So once that is done, we need to make sure we click the submit button. So we'll do that. And then once the submit button is clicked, after that, we have to verify our submit message. So I'll do verify submit message. All right. So always make sure when you're writing your test, you need to know what exactly you're trying to do. So this is a nice way of you can comment stuff out and it's easier for you to know what exactly you will be putting in your test. So to open the page, well, that one is straightforward. We have been doing that. I'm going to do self dot open and then put in the URL. So I'm just going to copy the URL from this test over here. And then just put this here. The only thing we're going to change is instead of opening the home page, we're going to open the contact page and I can do that by adding forward slash contact. Okay. So this will open up the contact page. After that, we have to fill all the fields. So let's head over to Chrome and get the selectors that we need for our fields. Okay. So to get the fields, I'm going to right click here, inspect. And then over here, let's take a look at what exactly it is. So this one is an input field and then we can see that it has an input text. So let's see if there is a class that we can find or some kind of unique ID. So we do have a unique class here. So this is contact name. This one is contact email. This one is contact phone and so on. So we can probably do like contact name and space input, which will should, which should give us this input field over here. So let's test it out. So I'm going to do contact name and then I'm going to do input. All right. So that is giving me this unique uh, field over here, which is basically our name field. So if I change this one to, let's say email, it should give me the unique one for the email. Yep. That works. And then we can do the same thing for, let's say phone. Let's do for phone. Yeah, that is unique too. And the next one is, I believe should be text area. So yeah, contact message and the text area. So I'm going to change this one to contact message. And this should be our text area. Yep. All right. So there you go. So we have all of these. So I'm going to copy the selectors and then I'm also going to make sure that I have the selector for the submit button here, which is, let's see if we have a unique ID. Yep. This is a unique ID. So I'm going to take this unique ID. I'm going to use that. Okay. So I'm going to head over to PyCharm and then start writing our test. So to fill in the fields or basically add a text, we can use the send keys method. Now this send keys method is a bit different than the send keys method you're going to find in the driver method which is driver.sendkeys when you will be working with plain Selenium WebDriver and Python because this one comes with additional features such as it will wait for the element field to be there 
it will make sure that the field is present it's visible and then it will go ahead and add all the send keys and there's some additional stuff that it does too and we can take a look at that once i add this in so i'm going to do self dot send keys and here i need to mention the css selector that i'm going to use so that was contact name and then we had our input so i'm going to add that then i need to add in the text so what exactly i'm putting there so i can say it should be test name same way i can just copy paste this and then add this for my let's say which one was that this was contact name email and copy this entire thing do the same thing for the other two also all right so we have added all the fields here and the key thing to notice is, is obviously to actually add text we need to use the send keys command so there you go i've added in all the fields here along with the css selector and the text message that i need so the key thing to notice here is is the send keys command because that's exactly why we are here is basically how you can send a text to an input field and we can use the send keys command for that so if i open this up we can actually see the selenium base uh, code over here so you can see all they're doing is running the self dot add text command and what that is doing is it's basically a reliable version of the driver dot send keys so it's kind of waiting for making sure the proper timeout is there it's making sure the element is visible it's checking if it's a proper text or if it's an integer and then kind of goes ahead and does its magic over here so you can always kind of go in here and dig deeper if you want to but for this video i think this is enough we're going to be using the send keys command we have the selector and the text message that we need to put here the next thing we need to do is click the submit button so for that we're going to do self dot click and then i'm going to paste the actual selector that i copied before all right and then we have to verify the submit message so to verify the submit message we will use the assert text i'm going to assert text and then i'm going to add in the actual text so in this case the text was actually let's head back to chrome and copy the text okay so let me copy this first of all i'm going to need the entire text i'm going to copy that and then i need to know what exactly is this so this one seems to be a div role alert so that feels like that should be unique i can test it out div role equals alert yep that is unique so we're going to use that perfect so i'm going to head back to patchum here i'm going to paste first of all the selector so the selector is div role alert and then i'm going to paste the entire text all right so we are pasting text here along with making sure that we are actually putting a selector here so this should be it this should be our full test what we are doing is we are opening the page we are filling in all the fields using the send keys command and then we are clicking the button and then we are asserting the text so as you can see it's super clean really easy we know exactly what's happening we are not adding any weights here or any of that such things because it's straightforward it's going to go in fill all the fields hit the submit button and then verify the message even for this if you notice notice when we were actually doing that it takes a while for us to go ahead and get the text but when we use the assert text selenium base takes care of the waiting and everything for us so let's run this and see if this would work for us so to run this i'm going to copy the test contact page over here and we're going to run that through pytest so i'm going to do pytest dash k and then just do test underscore contact underscore page so this should just run this particular test here so i'm going to hit enter okay so we ran our test and it successfully passed as you can see over here we didn't run into any issues awesome so there you go guys it's not that hard to work with input fields all you have to do is do the send keys command and it will add in all the text that you need and basically fill in whatever you need to fill in with so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed this video remember to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this and don't forget to hit that bell icon also leave a comment below if you have any questions related to this video or if there are some other topics you would like me to create some content on also that's all for now guys i will see you all in the next one